I'm in the mood to talk about Social Security a little bit. Had some questions come up recently regarding Social Security disability insurance benefits for adult disabled since childhood. So what this kind of gets into is uh, Social Security... And, and this kind of was an offshoot of, say, survivor benefits or somebody retires with a disabled child. And uh, and there was a question that came up. We were having a discussion, and somebody has a child that uh, is on SSI because they're an adult child, but they had the disability when they were young. And their parent is reaching a point of turning on social security benefits, which what that affects is what they said. Well, you know, cause I was asked about it and they said they were told that the SSI would convert over to social security benefits, disability benefits, and they would probably get a larger amount See, in the SSI program, a child becomes an adult at age 18, and they use a different medical and non-medical rules when deciding if an adult can get SSI disability payments. For example, they don't count income and resources of family members except for a spouse when deciding when an adult meets the financial limits for SSI. They count only the adult and spouse's income and resources. So they also use the disability rules for adults when deciding whether an adult is disabled. If your child was already receiving SSI payments, they must review the child's medical condition when they turn age 18. They usually do this review during a one-year period that begins on the child's 18th birthday, and they use the child's disability rules to decide whether your 18-year-old is eligible for SSI. Even if your child wasn't eligible for SSI before his or her 18th birthday because you and your spouse had too much income or too many resources to become eligible for SSI at 18. Now here's where Social Security Disability Insurance Benefit falls in for adult disabled since childhood. Social Security Disability and, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit more because it's not the same as SSI. SSI is not Social Security and is not Social Security Disability. So SSI DI program pays benefits to adults who have a disability that began before they became 22 years old. They considered the SSDI benefit as a child's benefit because it's paid on a parent's Social Security earning record. For a disabled adult to become entitled to this child benefit, one of his or her parents must be receiving Social Security retirement or disability benefits, have died, and have worked enough to qualify for Social Security. Children who were receiving benefits as a minor child on a parent's Social Security record may be eligible to continue receiving benefits on that parent's record until reaching age 18 if they are disabled. Now, they make the disability determination using disability rules for the adults. SSI disabled adult child benefits continue as long as the individual remains disabled. Marriage of the disabled adult child may affect eligibility for this benefit. Your child doesn't need to have work to get these benefits. You know, that's something, as much as we talk about Social Security all the time, we don't talk about that element. Oh, there. there's a lot of new stuff there for me. Yeah, so, w w and, and just we have people aging shifting into Social Security, or the survivor benefit affects that for disabled children. And it's not necessarily thought about, but this also ties in 
to the elderly. It ties into switching from SSI to Social Security disability under certain rules there. So you can see that's a whole different element going on out there. SSI, Supplemental Security Income. I was close. I said Social Security Income, Supplemental Security Income. Yeah, and right. I, I err on that. And what's interesting about that is it's managed by Social Security, but it's not one of Social Security's programs as such. It's completely different, separate from Social Security disability and so Social Security retirement, which, you know, originally, you know, is, is kind of the government's pension program. And supplemental security income basically is assistance for the poor, those that have not worked. You don't have to have worked. You don't have to have, and there's, you know, when you say, what, what do they have to have 40 out, you know, the 40 credits and so forth? They don't have to have anything. It's not social security. They just manage it. Now, you also gave me some numbers comparing to Social Security, basically a trillion-dollar program. Well, you scared me because when you said, you know, because Social Security retirement has its own trust fund, Social Security disability has its own trust fund, but SSI actually digs out of the general treasury. Exactly, I, from general tax revenues, not Social Security taxes. Yeah, well, that kind of scared me a little bit. So I'm like, well, this could this just run out of control because it's not, you know, it's not part of that whole discretionary facade at least and no it's not that bad they only spend 56 billion dollars a year which to me that would be a lot of money but considering that for the rest of social security and benefits between disability and retirement we're paying literally over a trillion dollars a year now okay that's not so big under that context it's 120th yeah, and, the size. and and to drill down in it i i would expect you probably have a lot of people disabled on ssi that can't work don't qualify for anything tied to Social Security because they don't have any credits. Right. It seems like the, the way you described it, it would be the majority disabled people or the surviving spouse of a deceased person that's taking care of that deceased person's minor children. Yeah. And, uh, and then to break down Social Security, disability, you have to have worked. And it's also based upon your age, you're required to have worked. And we went over this a while back, a number of shows back, talking about that you had to work so much within the past 10 years and you have to have so many years in and so many credits through Social Security to qualify for Social Security oh, right. disability. Wasn't that like the five and, of the last 10 and years? And you have to have a disability. You have to have major health problems to qualify for that. It's not easy to get on, hence the attorney commercials to help you get your social security disability. I had a gentleman had a discussion with, um, and it was about somebody else's health situation that had just let go. And I said, you know what? I, I think it's something they should do. They should look at applying for social security disability. They've already got the time in, the work in, and essentially he's being forced to retire early for health and the job ended, but it also, if he does qualify, he's going to be able to go ahead and get his FRA number at that point, which will help the assets because uh, they're just, you know, at, from an asset standpoint, generating income might have been a little bit tight from the information that I had understood. And I want to jump over here to when we talk about Social Security disability benefits are funded by a portion of the payroll tax. If you work for wages, 6.2% of your salary is withheld for Social Security taxes. Of that, 5.015% is funneled into the retirement trust fund, and 1.185% is funneled into the disability trust fund. Those uh, percentages are occasionally adjusted very slightly to shore up one trust fund or the other. And none of that goes towards SSI. Remember, that's not a Social Security 
program. That's, that's a basically program for the poor. SSI is once again funded through the general tax revenues, not Social Security taxes. So don't confuse the two out there in that case. And, you know, another thing that uh, questions that comes up with that is, uh, and I, I've seen this over the years, you know who's raising the kids in some families? Grandparents? The grandparents. Oh, yeah. And the grandparents are on Social Security. The, does, the question, well, can, I'm taking care of the kids. Can I... Can, can they get Social Security benefits? There is only one exception that allows that to happen, and that's if the grandparents have formally adopted their grandkids. Because you could be taken care of, but they're still your daughter or your son's kids. And that's who's responsible for them. You're not. So uh, unless you've adopted them, they're not going to be eligible for any benefits because you're receiving Social Security. All right, Tommy in Folsom, you're on Winning at Life with Gregory Ricks. How can we help you, Tommy? Hey, uh, I was just wondering about the SSI. So I'm 100% disabled veteran, and uh, I try getting on the SSI because I got two disabled children so it's harder to um like deal with the income pro- uh, problem and they said that i had to have the uh cre- the work credits and i was i i just want to make sure i heard you correctly that it, on that program you don't have to have the work credits ssi is is a complete different thing from social security disability are you on Social Security disability yourself? Are you No, I am not. Okay. Do you have I'm, I'm about to try to get my son on it because he just got diagnosed with level 3 autism like last week. I've been on the waiting list for a year and he finally got diagnosed last week, so Is he under age 18? He's 3 years old, so Okay. Yeah, that's something, once again, to talk to them about. Social Security Department administers SSI, so they'd be versed on on both sides of those rules. We just, you know, wanted to make sure everybody understood that there's clear, have some clarity between what SSI is, how it works, and Social Security disability, and Social Security retirement. So you have two branches of that that we pay taxes on social security taxes on and that's kind of split up and takes care of those the ssi is kind of those situations where there's poor no income from that and i don't know all the details on and we rarely get calls about that but you know i kind of opened it up but i wanted to make sure there was clarity there and you could probably go online and search some at social security as well because one of the documents i had pulled up earlier was regarding uh let me just get the title of the document here that gives you some information to go to is benefits for children with disabilities uh and you go to ssa.gov and and do a search for that or just search that title benefits for children with disabilities and your search engine will pull that up and that'll give you some guidance there and then there may be some links that take you to other places what i find about going to ssa.gov they don't tell you everything on the one brochure or document typically you get a link and go read through some others and kind of connect the dots so to speak is is what i found on getting information from them that you know been doing this a long time searching their site and learning from it and you just have to piece it together hopefully that helps tommy 